imagine you're sitting down writing. You have flow, you get stuff done, and then a new idea strikes you. It kind of feels important, this new idea. You don't want to forget. So you want to make a, a new note, just jot it down quickly. Um, but this means leaving the note you're working on and uh, opening up a new one. Then you have to go into that note, you have to write your thought down, and then back to your original note. And now you're back, but where were you? What were you writing about? What if there was a way to not have to go through this? And um, there is, in Obsidian at least, it's called Quick Add. Uh, Quick Add is a community plugin uh, that can do everything from opening a new note with a template already included up to complex macros with many different functions that I don't dare get close to. There are a lot of guides on how to install community plugins, so I'll jump straight into how I use it in my own vault instead of showing you how to install and stuff. My uh, three main uses for quick ads are to add uh, quick thoughts into my daily note without leaving what I'm working on, adding a link in the note that I am working on to another note with a pre-decided template, adding ideas to my YouTube and blog kanbans without leaving what I'm working on. As you can see, uh, these quick ads are set up so I don't have to leave what I'm currently doing. I can just open quick ad, do the thing, and get back to what I was doing. The first one I have is a capture one. I'm going to show you the settings first. Since my daily note is um, the first thing I open in the morning, I set my file name to this. So this is my folder for my just random notes. And then this is just the date format for the daily note in uh, curly brackets. That means that uh, it'll just uh, add this in the note of the day. Um, I didn't take create file if it doesn't exist because I didn't want to risk uh, creating a duplicate if I for some reason move my daily note somewhere else for that day. Um, since I didn't want to have my new idea stuck in the bottom, I instead chose insert after here and um, added the heading I put my interstitial notes under. So this is just notes and um, add capture down here. I chose, uh, this is for adding uh, the hours and the minutes when I write the note, because ah, this is the interstitial journaling part. And uh, so just what time of the day it is, and then um, value, that's just what I want to, ah, what I want to add to, <laughs> to the note. Uh, and so here we go back. Don't forget to press the thunderbolt uh, because it's easier to find um, this capture thing later. Then let's see. So let's pretend we're working along here and we feel like we need to capture something. I have a hotkey set for this capture, and it's Control Alt N. And there we go, capture to daily. As you see, the the time, I don't have to add the time here, it's already set. Instead I can just capture whatever's on my mind. Let's write, I need to remember to talk slower. Okay, so let's see here. Here's our note. And here's the new capture. That's just easy as pie. My second use for uh, quick add is a template, but hmm, it's more than a template. 
it's uh, that's the the best quick add thing I could uh, I could find to do what I wanted to do. So here's the thing: when I write, sometimes uh, I make you know the 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 double you know the double brackets, and I can just write what I wanted to make a new note about and just leave it. But sometimes I actually when you do this you don't actually create a new note you create a link but you have to press you have to press the link to create the note but sometimes i want the note to be made in any way i can find a way that obsidian did this natively please let me know if there is a way because i've been known to <laughs> to miss things before <laughs> um but i instead i i created this quick add shortcut for the template itself, it's just, let's see, here it's just this, <laughs> empty page with tag for empty. Uh, I added the tag because this is a tricky one. I don't want to create a bunch of notes and then never go back to them. So now I can, I can have this tag and I don't have to be worried that I'll just have a million empty notes. I can just go back and sort through them later. Um, this is also why I have uh, this creation date thing in my templater template because I can see like how long has this note been sitting doing nothing. Maybe I I didn't need it as much much as I thought. Anyway, let's go back and see the settings for. This one is this one, not from Link. So there, there's the, the template I uh, had. And then my uh, file name is just name your file. Um, and then I create it in a folder. I don't specify a folder here. I don't know why I didn't do that. Well, I have to. Sh I, I get a choice of of, uh, of which folder I want to add this to later. So let's deal with that one later. Um, and as you see here, I choose append link to created file to current file. So that's an important part. Uh, let's see how that one looks. Okay, let's see it in action. Control Shift L. I get to choose my own folder. I get to name my file. Let's name it file from link. And press OK. And there you go. There's a link. But uh, as you see, the color is another type of color. You see, if I do this and just go, oh, just I from you will see that this is slightly darker because there's no note behind it. But this one has a note, and you can see the note here. And if you go into it, you see here when I created it, and it's empty. That's this is. I don't use this a lot but i do find that when I, when i need to use it it's so good to have it and the third and the last one is a macro i use this one to quickly add ideas to my blog and youtube canvas um hmm. many things in my vault are inspired by nicole van der Hoeven, but this is more than inspiration uh, I don't think I would have been able to set this one up without her video on quick add. So as I'm prone to do almost every video, thank you, Nicole. Hope I'm not being weird, but she's very informative and I'll learn a lot from her. Um, for this macro, I'm not going to show you uh, both macros because it, they're for all intents and purposes, they're the same. Um, but let's just see here. First, you have to press Manage Macros and uh, add a macro here. 
and uh, I have these ones so to just go in here my first part is a capture command that looks like this so this is just a capture and this is yeah I named this private and as you could see uh, it's not in the vault right now I have it hidden and um, because I'm, I'm, I don't I don't want to I don't want to show it not yet <laughs> um, so here's uh, where the ID is supposed to go and I have it here to insert after just like in the capture to daily notes I have a header for ideas so that's where I want it uh, the Kanban plugin is a whole other video but it's amazing and I wanted to insert at the end of the section and then I have I just add the value I mean just add uh, what I want to call the idea and I also create the note so um, it's a bit convoluted but I add text to the Kanban and that text is a link to the note where I will actually do my writing the second part of the macro is um, a template so this is just blog idea I have a specific template to for for what I for tags and stuff and I just call it um, the file name is just me <laughs> naming it and uh, it, it also goes uh, th this is where the the new note the actual note will be saved and that's about it for none of these I, I opened the create the file because the whole the whole purpose of this setup is to not have to leave what I'm doing uh, I, I don't wanna I don't want to have to go and do something else. I don't have. I have a limited amount of time, and I want to do my best with my time. <laughs> anyway, these are my three main uses of Quick Add, and they're all, yeah. To, to summarize, they're all centered around me not having to leave what I'm currently working on. I am easily distracted, so if I had to leave what I was working on to write down an idea somewhere, I would. I would get, of course, in a heartbeat. I, I mean, I don't. That's just the reality. Uh, this is all about working with your strengths and your weaknesses. If you know you are easily distracted, don't try to not be that. I, if if you are easily distracted, just try and set up a system where distractions are fewer and further between. Because you, some things are not worth fighting against. Fight with them. Do your best to make them not be an issue. So that's that's my little that's my little setup for, for Quick Ad. I would love to hear what you use Quick Ad for because this is this is obviously kinda basic. I know some people are doing very complex things and I yeah, it's, it's so exciting to hear how how others work and how their workflow is is set up because we're so different so if you have a special uh, quick ad thing you're proud about just please write about it because I'm, I'm very interested to hear about how others are working <laughs>